Welcome to Sideline Sports, where we give you an up-close and personal look at the teams, coaches, and athletes that make up the South Sound. Here's your host, Jeff Slakey. It's a special episode of Sideline Sports this week as we preview some of the spring sports for the Shelton High Climbers. Shelton Fast Pitch gearing up for their new season. It's a new coach and new outlook for Shelton Baseball. Shelton High Soccer is back on the pitch as well. This portion of Sideline Sports is being brought to you in part by Mason General Hospital, United Community, Empowered People, Exceptional Health. It's a new season and a new conference for Shelton Fast Pitch. Shelton Fast Pitch are gearing up for a new season and a new conference. A year after finishing 12-2 in Narrows League play, High Climbers joined the newly formed South Sound Conference facing some new and familiar foes. After graduating a strong group of seniors, High Climber head coach Kim Goldsby admits this team will look a little different from her playoff squad last year. We lost four starters, seven seniors. We're very, very young. We have some select team kids that have come in that are ninth graders that are um, probably going to add to our program. We have 50 kids turning out this year, which is really awesome. I don't think that I've ever had 50 at the beginning of the year before. Maybe my first year. High Climber senior Madeline Meacham expects a big year for her team this season. The starting third baseman wants to challenge herself to be more of a leader, helping her younger teammates grow both on and off the field. Really be vocal. I'm more of a quiet leader. I don't like to speak a lot, but I know it helps because when I was a freshman, if people came up to me, the older girls, it always helped me, gave me confidence. Shelton junior Alyssa Jorgensen was an all-conference audible mention last season playing shortstop. With a number of positions up for grabs, Alyssa expects strong competition for the next two weeks in practice. Every spot is open right now, so we do have people who are coming back that were on the team last year and did have positions last year, but there's always room to grow, there's always room for people to step in. So really it's just that you need to work hard every day if you want to get to the position you want to play because none of them are taken. Shelton open up the season on the road at River Ridge March 13th. For Fiber One Sports, I'm Sean Wells. Sideline Sports is being brought to you in part by the Gillis Auto Center. At Gillis, you're covered forever. There's a new coach and a new outlook for Shelton Baseball. It's a new look team this season for Shelton High School Baseball. This year's squad is led by first year head coach and Shelton alum, Jason Winans. Winans, a 2001 Shelton High grad, is heavily involved with youth baseball in Mason County. When offered the position of head coach, Winans couldn't pass up the opportunity to bring Shelton baseball players of all ages closer together. I want to see our youth program succeed into the high school program, so I thought best that we can mesh both of them and get them both together and, and build a system, build a, build a farm system in the youth, and then come up to the high school and get them excited to play high school baseball. Due to ongoing heavy rain, the high climbers have yet to even touch a baseball field during practice. The High Climbers have been forced to play indoors at the Mini Dome with games scheduled to start in just a few days. Tyler Giraldi is a senior for Shelton and hasn't played competitive baseball since middle school. The Giraldi's is one of four new seniors who decided to play under their new head coach, that is if it ever stops raining. Well, I mean, games are right around the corner, but I know a lot of us aren't really mentally prepared yet for it because we haven't even touched the field, so that's what we need to, once we get out there, we need to really take advantage of having the field and get some real work in. Coach Winans expects a deep eight-man pitching staff for Shelton and thinks the bats will only get better as the season moves along. One thing he's noticed in practice is that the kids are excited and proud to be representing Shelton High School. Enthusiasm. Things have been fun. Everybody's off around, excited to be here. Uh, the love of baseball is back in Shelton, so we're excited. For I Fiber One Sports, I'm Sean Wilkes. Sideline Sports is being brought to you in part by Maple Glen Senior Living celebrating the art of life. High Climber Soccer back on the pitch with their eye on a playoff return. After finishing fifth in last year's Narrows League Conference, the Shelton High Climbers are back on the pitch. This year, Shelton is playing in the newly formed South Sound Conference. The team brings back a number of starters from last year's playoff squad while also bringing in some new talent. High Climber head coach Jason Smith likes the nucleus this team brings back and thinks the future is bright for Shelton soccer. We're very optimistic about this team. Um, so we have high goals. 
and uh, we've got definitely have quality. Um, we've got some finishers. Uh, practice in the first week, we're, uh, possession of the ball is fantastic, so we're we're hopeful. Senior goalkeeper Cody Bragg expects big things from his teammates this season. He thinks the high climbers have great chemistry between the upper and underclassmen. Great leaders from last year, our junior year. We lost a big class of seniors last year, but our juniors are stepping up. We got a couple good freshmen. Our sophomores are good. We, we got a good team all around. Senior striker Jose Flores is healthy again and ready to put up big numbers for the high climbers. Jose led Shelton his sophomore season with 22 assists, but missed a number of games as a junior due to a hamstring injury. Back healthy again, Jose thinks the high climbers have what it takes to turn some heads. To beat our girl from last year, go further than the first round of playoffs, and actually do something this year, something big. For Faber One Sports, I'm Sean Wells. This has been another presentation of Sideline Sports. I'm Jeff Slakey. Scotty, you know how cars have that thing where the more you drive them, the more they start to have problems. I mean, is it too much to ask that my car just be covered forever? Here at Gillis Auto Center in Shelton, we don't think so. Any qualifying vehicle purchased at Gillis Auto Center is protected with our exclusive warranty forever at no cost to you. That's a real powertrain warranty for life. Unlimited time, unlimited miles, no cost, no deductibles, no hooks, catches, or gimmicks. Just a warranty forever. Just go to Gillis. Because at Gillis, you're covered forever. United Community, Empowered People, Exceptional Health sets Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics apart from everyone else. Their winning vision with the patient at the center, state-of-the-art technology, and a strategy for delivering excellence and coordinated care are all provided by Mason General's award-winning team of highly skilled healthcare professionals. This care takes our community health to the next level.